The movie opens up with two high school classmates, Dong Hu and Cha Wong, talking about the most popular girl in their class, Park Ha Yoon. It's clear Cha Wan has a crush on Park when he confides in Dong Hu that he thinks she is a very beautiful and kind girl. He also mentions that Park is good in studies, sports, and every other activity in school. After listening to his friend's fondness for Park, Cha Wan suggests he ask her out and encouraged to Wan replies that he will do it, dedicating his own composed song to her. He believes that a more classical and romantic approach will win her over. Suddenly, Cha Wan turns and notices Park standing at the door. Seeing her, he panics and asks her if she heard anything. Park replies that she heard his composition and also what he said about capturing her heart. Hearing this, Cha Wan feels embarrassed and tries to explain, but to his dismay, Park immediately interrupts and says that she cannot be dating anyone at the moment. Before Cha Wan can respond, Park apologizes to him and walks away. In the next scene, Cha Wan talks to Dong Hu after school and tells him about his interaction with Park. He feels so embarrassed about what happened that he talks about ending his life. Hearing this, Dong Hu gets angry and smacks Cha Wan's head for even thinking such a stupid thought. However, despite this, Cha Wan leaves and deliberately meets with an accident outside the school. Fortunately, it's not serious, and he escapes with a simple broken leg. The following day, Park's nemesis, Jo Min, can be seen talking to her friends about Cha Wan's accident and blaming it on Park. While gossiping in the washroom, the group mentions that Cha Wan attempted to take his own life because Park refused his proposal the previous day. Park, who is also in the washroom, feels terrible after hearing this and decides to message Cha Wan and check on his condition. However, at the last second, she nervously changes her mind. Next, Park returns home where she lives alone. Her thoughts expose why she doesn't trust anyone in love anymore when we are shown a scene in which Park's father left her alone for no reason, despite her crying and begging him to stay. Later that night, Park posts something on Instagram and within seconds, someone with a strange name starts following her and also sends her a DM. Surprised, Park opens the DM and finds a song inside, which she plays and likes. The next day, the main protagonist of the show, Diok Mon, aka Big Daddy, joins the same high school. He is a very popular social media influencer who is adored by almost all the girls he meets. Big Daddy introduces himself to the class and asks his classmates to treat him as a regular student. Though Joe Min shows great interest in helping him with his studies, the teacher assigns Park to the task and she readily accepts it. Following this, during lunch break, Big Daddy sits in front of Park and pulls out an e-cigarette from his pocket. Park immediately notices it and snatches it away, mentioning that it's not allowed on school premises. Then, Jo Min arrives and tries to stop Park, but instead, Park shuts her down. Surprisingly, Big Daddy, who witnesses all of this, is fascinated. Later, he begins his live stream where he tells his viewers that he has fallen in love with Park. But to his dismay, she gets irritated and turns off his stream, warning him not to do it again. Due to Park's continuous disrespect of Big Daddy, Jo Min and her friends decide to teach her a lesson. They try to throw a bucket of water on her, but fail miserably. After school, Park returns home and checks her Instagram to find a new song posted by the guy who messaged her the previous night. She vibes with the song and again checks his profile before going to bed. In the morning, Park posts a picture of her breakfast on Instagram, and to her surprise, her new Instagram friend also does the same. The interaction continues for a while until Park reaches school and notices Big Daddy playing guitar inside the classroom. She looks at her usual seat and finds it occupied. Enraged, Park tosses Jo Min's bag aside and takes her seat. Right then, she receives a message on her phone and rushes out of the classroom. Outside, Park is sitting on the bench upset because the message was from her mother. In the message, her mother says that she has a situation at work that will prevent her from returning home for another month. Surprisingly, Dong Hu can be seen keeping an eye on the distraught Park before walking away from her sight. Later that day, Park returns home and expresses her frustration about having to live alone like an orphan, despite her parents being alive. At the same time, she turns on her phone and sees her Instagram friend playing the piano in a live stream. She really loves the tune, feels the music, and forgets her worries. When the live stream ends, the Instagram friend messages her and asks her opinion on his original music. Park replies that she really liked it. Following this, the friend asks her if she would like to meet this weekend. At first, Park hesitates to type anything, but reluctantly replies with a yes. In the next scene, Park gets ready to meet her Instagram friend and leaves her apartment. But to her bad luck, the weather suddenly changes and she is forced to return home, completely soaked. The following day, Park is sick with a cold and she can be seen resting at school. 
In the meantime, one of Joe Min's friends approaches her and tells her that the coach has asked her to bring a basketball. Begrudgingly, Park walks up to the sports room and gets a basketball. Here it is revealed that it was an evil plan concocted by Joe Min and her friends to keep Park away from Big Daddy. As soon as she enters the room, Jo Min locks the door from outside. Due to her poor health condition and prolonged confinement, Park falls unconscious. Eventually, a tall boy opens the door and takes her to the medical room. Next, Dong Hu approaches Jo Min and warns her to never pull a stunt like that again. At first, she tries to play innocent, but when Dong Hu shows her the video clip of her locking Park inside the sports room, she snaps. She accuses Dong Hu of helping Park, even though she is the one responsible for his friend's accident. However, Dong Hu does not reply and walks away. Surprisingly, Jo Min's friends find Dong Hu cool and begin seeing him in a different light. The scene then shifts to the school's medical room, where Park regains consciousness and finds a funny looking doctor in front of her. He tells her that she fainted inside the sports room and a guy brought her there. He then leaves, but not before handing over the mobile phone and earphones of the guy who brought her. After the doctor walks away, Park unlocks the phone and to her shock, she finds the same playlist of songs shared by her Instagram friend. Moments later, Dong Hu approaches Park and nervously asks her to return his phone and earphones. Here we learn it was Dong Hu who rescued Park from the sports room and carried her to the medical room. After this, Park returns to the classroom and looks at Jo Min and chooses revenge. The next day, when Jo Min and her friends enter the classroom, they are shocked to see Park flirting with Big Daddy. The latter also finds it surprising and asks why she is doing so. Park tells him that she just wants to add some spice to her life by befriending a popular guy. Big Daddy is all in and starts live streaming, introducing Park to his audience. Seeing them together, Jo Min and her friends lose their shit. During the break, Park meets with Jo Min and lies to her saying that Big Daddy invited her to his party. She then asks Jo Min if she wants to join the party, and the latter immediately agreed. However, when the bullies arrive at the said location, Park closes the door from outside and takes revenge. At night, she looks at her phone and attempts to message her Instagram friend and ask him about his true identity. However, she stops herself and decides to meet Dong Hu in person instead. The following day, Park writes a note to Dong Hu on a piece of paper asking him to meet her during his lunch break. To her surprise, when she asks him if he is the one who messages her on Instagram, he replies yes. Unbeknownst to them, Jo Min is listening in on their conversation. In the next scene, Park enters the classroom and Big Daddy looks at her with a sad face. We are then shown a flashback where Jo Min manipulates Big Daddy into believing Park is a cheater. Back to the present, Big Daddy notices her messaging Dong Hu as she walks out of the classroom. Enraged, he confronts her as to why she is toying with him. He tells her that he even bought a ring to take their relationship to the next level. To his dismay, Park says that he is not her type and warns him to stay within limits. After this, a distraught Big Daddy returns to the classroom and asks his followers to assemble and teach Dong Hu a lesson. As soon as he leaves the message, a group of students gather and start harassing Dong Hu. Later, he returns to the classroom, all tired and dirty. Seeing this, Park immediately realizes that Big Daddy and his followers are responsible for it. During the break, she approaches Big Daddy and warns him to stay away from Dong Hu. The influencer immediately obliges and messages his group to stop troubling the poor guy. He then asks Park why she cares about an unpopular guy instead of him. Right then, Dong Hu arrives and tells Big Daddy that he and Park are dating. After this, he grabs her hand and takes her to the school garden. Here, Dong Hu reveals that he tried to meet her a couple of times before, but he didn't have enough courage to face her. He also admits that he didn't know it was Park at the beginning and just replied to the message because he liked her taste in music. Later that night, Dong Hu messages Park and apologizes to her for hiding for so long. Park forgives him and listens to the newly composed song he just sent. The following day, while the two are talking in the school garden, Big Daddy notices them and gets jealous. During their conversation, Park opens up to Dong Hu and tells him that since her father cheated on her mother, she does not believe in love and hates dating. Later, during sports class, Big Daddy confronts Dong Hu and challenges him to a basketball match. He also mentions that whoever wins the match will win the chance to ask Park out. Dong Hu readily accepts the challenge and the match begins. In short order, Dong Hu scores a couple of three pointers and wins a face off. As mentioned in the challenge, he then approaches Park and asks her out on a date with him on Sunday. 
In the next scene, we see the two are enjoying their time together. They play different games, and Dong Hu even plays a beautiful song on the piano for her. After the date is over, Dong Hu accompanies Park to her home and promises to send her the fully composed song as soon as he completes it. However, when he tries to get closer to her, she pushes him and rushes towards her apartment. On her way, she notices she is carrying Dong Hu's iPod and immediately walks back to return it. To her surprise, when she reaches outside, she notices Cha Wan talking to Dong Hu and reminding him that he is with Park to take revenge for his accident. Hearing this, Park gets shocked and returns to her room. The next day, she walks out of her classroom and confronts Cha Wan. She tells him that she heard him and Dong Wu talking about revenge the night before and asks him to explain it with honesty. Here, the scene flashes back to the past, where Cha Wan met with an accident and started hating Park. Seeing his friend's miserable condition, Dong Hu then promised Chan Wan that he would take revenge on Park on his behalf. We also see Dong Hu take her music playlist when Park goes outside the classroom and he invades her mobile phone. Back in the present, Cha Wan apologizes to Park and tells her that since Dong Hu had already started approaching her, he could not stop him from taking revenge. Following this, Park also confronts Dong Hu and asks him if everything he did was to take revenge on Cha Wan. Reluctantly, he admits it, causing a furious Park to return home. Later at night, both Dong Hu and Park can be seen crying, grieving their lost moments. The next day, Park's mother returns home and Park is thrilled to have her back. She hugs her mother tight and tells her how much she missed her. Sometime later, the two sit together and Park's mother asks her to go abroad and study there. To her surprise, Park immediately agrees and says that she doesn't want to be separated anymore. Meanwhile, Cha Wan beats Dong Hu in a basketball game. After the match, the two sit together and Dong Hu confesses his feelings for Park. He reveals to Cha Wan that he has always liked Park and is feeling bad for making her feel cheated. Hearing this, Cha Wan becomes frustrated and suggests that Dong Hu go confess his feelings as soon as possible. The following day, when Dong Hu is completing his cleaning duty, he hears two students talking about Park leaving school to go abroad. Alarmed, he rushes to the classroom searching for her. Suddenly, he runs into Park's mother, and she seems to recognize him immediately. It is then shown that the previous night, Park revealed the complicated relationship to her mother. At school, the woman suggests Dong Hu make good memories with Park as she is going abroad for her higher studies. Later, when Park and her mother are about to leave school, Dong Hu enters the announcement room and begins singing the song he composed for Park. After this, he also confesses his feelings for her, surprising everyone in the classroom. Park becomes very emotional after hearing the song in the confession. However, she does not change her decision to go abroad. In the last scene, a sad Dong Hu can be seen sitting on a bench in the school garden alone. Right then, his phone beeps, and it seems like he received a message from Park. The show ends with Dong Hu smiling and winking at the camera.